Top Tip Tuesday time, it's Bob here from Insidium. On today's video, we're going to be doing this nice animated city lights sim using Nexus Infectio to spread infection between neighboring particles. So let's jump into cinema and we'll begin. In our scene then, we have this very simple MoGraph setup. We've got this vague cityscape made up. Uh, it's just a couple of cubes with some cloners and some effectors. Uh, you can dig in the scene file to see how that was done. But obviously, the more detailed and the better your model, the cooler this effect will look. So what we want to do is we want to emit particles on the edges of these buildings, and then we want to kind of get them to change color, to light up, to spread across this cityscape. So the way we're going to do it you'll notice both of our cloners that have generated this city have been put inside an xp join object and that means that we'll be able to emit particles from them all we need to do to do that is go to our emitter object tab we're in object emitter shape we've dragged in our xp join into the link field this is the join joining our clones together and we've got the emit from set to edges so we'll get particles along the edges of all of our clones in our emission tab we've got it on shot we're shooting out 200,000 particles with a full lifespan and zero speed so now if i let's just hit nq which will show the dark materials and if we go forward a frame you're not going to see anything until i make all that geometry invisible and then you can see that we have uh, particles on the edges of all of our buildings and they're black particles so now let's make everything visible again now what we want to do is spread um, some infection through these particles which is going to give us a growing effect the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to nexus we're going to bring in a nexus infectio modifier there it is now what we do with this is we need a seed object in the scene which is going to initially infect a few particles to start off the infection and then that infection will spread now uh, we uh, can click add seed object bring it in here and you can see look we've got this volume and if any particle is within this volume it will become infected and try and spread that disease so this is how it works in the infection um, each particle that has become infected that's within our seed object will search within this radius 25 centimeters of itself and it will f infect the nearest three particles those particles will then in turn once they become infected search for more particles and infect three more and so on and so forth and so the infection spreads so what we want to do let's just get this uh, seed object and just make it a little bit bigger and we'll just drag it down so it's on some of our particles let's hit play and now you can see nothing has happened it's infected these ones look they've changed color into the infected and incubating colors but it hasn't spread why not well that is because by default if we go to the infectio the incubation mode is set to use particle color and this means if the particles are black they'll never become infected if they're white they'll become infected more quickly so it's a nice way of getting texture in the infection but we don't want it for this scene so we're going to change this to incubation rate which just gives you kind of a power slider of how quickly they're going to uh, 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 become incubated and infected so now if we hit play yes look you can see that incubation spreading according to the incubation rate very nice so obviously if we put this incubation rate up further uh, higher they'll spread more quickly we actually want it to spread quite slowly so let's bring that down but we'll have lots of variation so hit play again see what we get so now it's going to be a little bit more varied and a bit more random looking we can maybe put that way up that variation so it's really different but you can already see it's starting to look cool isn't it uh, just with those almost base settings now we want to start oh the reason these are dying off now actually is because of this setting uh, infected lifespan by default is set to 300 and that means that as soon as a particle has become infected it has 300 frames to live and then it dies and that can be quite nice to kind of wipe off the effects once you've wiped them on so you'll see that once we get to 300 frames these ones obviously will start dying quicker and they'll start kind of catching up and dying off 
Um, so that's quite a cool effect. Uh, they look, you can see them starting to die off now. But that's not actually for us, for this scene, what we want. We want them to be alive for the whole scene. So let's just put them on 500 frames, which is the scene length, and then they'll always be alive. Okay, so at the moment, we have left our colour mode on fixed values. So it's just painting the particles this colour. Blue when they're incubating, and orange when they're infected. But actually, I want to use some groups here. So instead of doing that, we can move particles into different groups, depending on their... Um, infection status. So if we just put this on to use groups instead, we can now have an incubating group and an infected group. Now I've actually got two groups here already made. These aren't doing anything yet at all. They're just in the hierarchy, but they're not assigned to any remitter or anything. But if I put group one as the incubating group, and group two as the infected group, now you'll see that those colours have changed because it's using the group colours. Green is incubating, blue is infected. Very nice. But I don't want to change the colour. I just want to change them into different groups. So we can just alter this colour change so there isn't actually any colour change at all, but the particles are still being moved between groups. So now we've switched off the colour change. We're not actually going to see anything because all the particles are black. They're getting infected, but they're staying black, so we're not actually seeing any difference. So now let's use a Nexus color modifier to color both the incubating and infected group. It just gives us more control. So let's go to Nexus and we're going to bring in a Nexus color. And we only want this to affect particle groups one and two. We don't want it to affect that birth emitter. We want these to stay black because we're going to be rendering these as lights. So now that we have got that, let's go to the object tab. We are going to, we're going to put a nice gradient in here. So the higher up lights are going to be a different color from the lower down lights. So let's bring in a distance from object layer. That's how we're going to do it. And what this does, it maps particles using these colors, dependent on how close they are to an object of your choice. So I'm just going to click on this button to bring in a null and bring it to the top of my buildings. This is going to be my object. Let's go back to the color. So I can drag in my null and let's just change these colors. We're going to go with a, let's go with a green on this one and soften this blue a bit on this one. Okay. And let's maybe put this on 600 centimeters. So particles that are close to the object will be blue far away will be green. So the lower down ones will be green. If this is working correctly, let's have a look, play. Yep, so our ones that are far away from that null object are the green color. And as they rise, they get more into that blue shade. And that's looking really cool, isn't it? Very nice. So that is the basics on how we can use Infectio to um, uh, kind of spread the painting on of particles on the edges of objects, which gives these really nice kind of wireframe reveals. Works really well if you emit light from these particles and have very dark buildings. Um, you get this really cool cityscape um, paint on. But obviously, we've just demonstrated it with this simple city. You can do this on any object, any wireframe model you like. And that's the power of using Nexus Infectio, doing this cool neighbor search to infect neighboring particles to spread across our models.